All right, we're going to talk about how to change the navigation structure in your new WordPress site. In this particular case, there it, you'll have two sections. This is going to be your primary menu navigation. And if you have navigation up here, uh, very similar to the way that this site is laid out, if you have navigation up here, this is going to be called your secondary navigation location. And in, in some rare cases, there might even be a footer navigation menu. We actually do that a different way than WordPress does so that we can have it globally, but that's a different video. So again, this is your primary navigation, and this is your secondary navigation. Some of you guys will not have secondary. You'll have maybe your social media over there, very similar to this. Um, here's another example. This is where the logo is in the center, but this is the primary navigation with their drop downs, and then this is their secondary navigation up here. So let's take a look at how we would change and maybe add a page to the services and rates section right here, or remove a page for that fact. So the first thing you'll want to do is log into your admin tool. You'll want to come over to appearances and menus. And this is where you're going to see your menu structure, and it should look very, very similar to what you have on the page. This is, uh, in this particular case, there's only one uh, navigation, it's the primary. So this structure here is gonna look very similar to what's going on right here. In the case of the Broadmoor properties here, they actually have two. So there's your primary and your secondary. You'll wanna make sure that you're editing the proper one. So if you need to change the secondary up here, you'll select that from the drop down and hit select and it will reload the menu structure for the secondary. In this particular case it's just these three items which match these three items up here. So you'll either be a single item like this which is your primary or you'll have multiple menus in here and you'll need to select the one that is appropriate for you. In this particular video we're going to talk about just the basics so we're going to come over to the gravity garage because manipulating them is exactly the same. You just got to make sure you're manipulating the right one. All right, so let's jump over to the gravity garage. Let's say that we want to add a new page underneath service services and rates. So we're going to add a page to this list right here. The first thing we're going to do is come over here and look for our page in the list. You have pages, posts, galleries, custom links, categories, and if you have a WooCommerce site, you'll see product, product categories, and more. If you don't see what you're looking for, come over to your screen options and make sure that it's actually activated. In this particular case, there's the FAQ section and testimonials and a, and a few other things. But right now, this is all we're going to work with. So we're going to come over here. We're going to take this test page. We're going to select it. And if you don't see it in the most recent, you can actually hit the view all and look in the list here. We're going to take the test page and we're going to tell it to add the menu. It always adds it to the very bottom of your menu structure. So when we mouse over it, you notice we have the four-way arrows. Now we're going to drag that and we're going to put it all the way up to the top. So we're going to drop it right here and if you'll notice, it's right between home and services. Uh, we're going to move it into services in a second, but let's go ahead and save this menu and look at how this acts. It's going to put it up here on the primary menu, and it's going to make it visible. It's going to put it right there. So now we have our test page that we can link to, but we need it under services. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take and drag it, and we're going to put it under services. Let's put it right between classes and pro tune-ups, right, right there. We're going to hit save menu. And we'll go back here and look at our menu structure again. So it should remove it from here, which it did, put it underneath there. There it is under test pages. Now if we want it under classes, we just take and drag it over to the right one click. You'll see that it moved to the right one click. We hit save menu. And when we hit reload, it's going to be under services, but under classes you'll see there's an arrow there. Now there's our test page. You want to move the whole structure. Let's say we want to move this whole structure of services and rates under home. We just drag the parent, and when we move it over one click, it moves everything with it. So we'll go ahead and save that menu. And we'll go ahead and come over here and hit reload. And you'll notice now service and rate is gone. It's underneath home. 
and then we keep going down, drilling down that way. So let's go ahead and move it back. Now let's say we want to remove the test page. We don't want to keep it at all. We'll hit the little arrow down and we'll hit remove. Now it's going to take it out of the list completely. Hit save menu. We'll come back over here and our menu structure will be back to the same. Now this also goes for linking to posts and offsite. So if you want to link to a post, you can come over here and you can look at posts. And here's different um, posts that have been added to this website. We don't use blogging over here, so these are the leftovers. But you can also go to blogging categories. In this particular case, these are the leftovers from the beginning and we haven't removed them. So if you want to add a whole category, you just click it, select Add to Menu, and it'll put it over here. The other thing you can do is you can link to with custom links. So we can come over here and we can say, let's link to ILGM.com. We'll go ahead and give it ILGM as the title. We'll hit Add to Menu. And we'll go ahead and hit Save. It's down here at the bottom. But we'll go ahead and hit Save. Now this operates the same as any other menu item. So it'll show up in the list right here and we can click and link to it. If you're linking off-site, a couple of things to remember that you'll want to do is make sure that you open it in a new window. So when you click the down arrow to look at the attributes, there's this option here to link it in a new window. All you have to do is click it, hit save to menu, and now when this is clicked by a visitor, it'll take them to a brand new window. And now you're good to go. Again, if you want to remove it from the list, you'll come back down here, you'll expand it, and you'll hit remove, and you'll hit update. And again, this works for main primary navigation and secondary navigation. It doesn't matter which one you're editing, they all work the same.